In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate time from time cards quickly if you set this up in Excel. And so I know for myself when I've been in, entering in timesheets or whatever for a contract, I practically am using my fingers trying to figure out the hour differences between my in and out times. And so um, let's let's put in an in time here. So I'm doing it for this week coming up. So let's say I arrived at, um, let's say eight. And then I'm going to uh, leave at, let's say 12 o'clock. And that's pretty easy because that works out to be four hours. And then I'm going to come back at 12.30. And then I am going to um, leave at, um, let's say, 4.30. Now we're going to have to use um, military time or 24-hour clock, whichever way you want to describe it. So I'll be leaving at um, 16.30. Okay, so now let's go for the next day and let's make it a little bit weirder. Let's say I come in at uh, 9.30 and I work till 12.30 and then um, I work from uh, 1.15, so it's, that's um, 13.15. And I work till um, 5.30, so that'd be 17.30. Okay, so I'm not going to enter the whole week here, so let's calculate the time. And so it's calculated my four hours and four hours, which is easy. But then you've got it all figured out for the next one, three hours and 4.15, and then we have a running total. So if I filled in three days, I'd have a total for three days, but this is a total for two days. And so it's very quick. And then to put in the next person, you just click on reset and enter the hours again. Let me show you the code. Okay, so total time, um, A is total, uh, P is total as doubles, uh, G to as doubles, because because we have, uh, they're not integers, they're, they're doubles. And so then double and then time in is date, Time out is date, time out, out, and time out two is date. Okay, so then we're using um, R and column, R for row and C for column as long. Okay, so now when I go down my sheet, first of all, I set the number format for hours, minutes, and seconds in AM, and then for sheet one, um, number format for row. Uh, row, which is the first day for five, it's hours, minutes, and seconds. So time out is whatever that value is, time in, whatever that value is, time out is whatever that value is that's enter. So total time equals time out minus time in. And then we put those, I have, um, I have a column that I'm calculating the AM time and the PM time. So I'm putting those in the total in that column there. And yeah, I'm using the same format. I do exactly the same thing for the afternoon, time in and time out using the same format. And then for my total for the day, I'm doing the total, for, which is the morning, and the A total, which is the afternoon total. And I'm putting the G total as the total, those two together. And then I'm putting it in that last column. So for the running total, what I'm doing is running total equals the cell here value plus whatever the, the daily total is, and that keeps going, and then I have it formatted to, to be in this, this, uh, this format as well. I will, of course, include the, the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.